Today I'm uh, on a mission impossible. We are again in the Ardennes in Belgium. We are in uh, Waymay and uh, I'm gonna do an evening shoot. But the problem is we had uh, a very nice day today and we went to Plopsako here in Belgium with the kids. And now uh, the plan was I would go shoot at uh, between seven, uh, between six and seven in the evening but uh, it's already uh, 15 minutes past eight and the sun will go down at uh, nine it will be at the horizon <laughs> and uh, the place where i want to shoot is uh, a half an hour walk it looks like that's the only way to get there so i'm walking right now to that place in the hope we can shoot at least maybe two photos and otherwise we will uh, do maybe an evening shoot or maybe if we have a nice view we will do some uh, time blending or so we have to see but uh, first let's walk very fast I found the cascade but uh, it's not the one oh, look out for where I'm walking it's not the one that I want to to shoot but uh, the one that I wanted to shoot uh, it's still uh, more than 50 minutes away and uh, it's climbing mountains uh, that I don't know so uh, I don't want to be stuck here in the dark because it's going to be dark very soon so uh, I'm going to try to take some cool pictures of this cascade and uh, we have some beautiful rivers here that we can uh, work with and then afterwards we, we will see what the evening will bring <laughs> I think it's going to be a short video this one I took the first shot for the, this video and I took a portrait orientated video uh, I took a portrait orientated photo with uh, Tokina 11 to 16 millimeters onto the body so we can uh, go fairly close to the to the water here in front of the lens and uh, also include the the cascade in the back of this uh, picture I took a few pictures because I'm uh, doing an, uh, a focus tag in the beginning I was focused on the cascade but I saw on the back of the screen that uh, the rocks in front of our uh, lens were a little bit uh, blurry and I really I don't mind that too much uh, but uh, just for fun I wanted to try to make it a very perfect sharp photo in uh, post-processing so that's why I uh, took uh, four different or three different focus point pictures uh, just to blend them in afterwards with uh, Photoshop so in front of us we got this uh, beautiful cascade with the water coming towards us with a small waterfall here or a small cascade and also in front of the lens, this water here is uh, also moving. Uh, I took a few pictures and uh, without any filter, we are already at ISO 100 at uh, 13 seconds. So it's super silky, this water. But I really like it uh, today because uh, last week's video, I was taking pictures at uh, two, of a second, two and a half of a second. And I re was really liking that, but uh, from this uh, cascade, I'm really digging the, the longer exposure. But uh, I don't want to talk too much because we're losing light very quick. It's uh, already nine o'clock, so I want to go a little bit closer to the cascade because we got a, a puddle of water in front of the cascade. This one, and I also want to have a picture with that puddle and also this small uh, cascade in the bottom of the screen here. So I'm uh, gonna also gonna take a picture with the Tokina 11 to 60 millimeters. I'm gonna take out my uh, middle column from uh, my tripod so I can put uh, the camera super close, almost fell in on the rocks here. So I can put my uh, camera super close to the water and make it really uh, look big, this cascade. But it's not really that big. So like I already told you guys, 
Uh, I've got the camera fairly close to the water and uh, we've got the gas gate again in this picture still in uh, portrait orientation and uh, still with the Tokina 11 to 60 millimeters onto the body in front of the camera we got this uh, small cascade and then uh, we got this uh, uh, surface uh, of water and then the, gas the big cascade in the back of this picture uh, I'm focused on the, the big cascade so my foreground will be a little bit out of focus but I don't mind and don't want to be bothered with uh, focus taking this picture because uh, it's getting way too dark and I uh, don't want to spend too much time on this cascade now so I think I'm going to look for some uh, other cool uh, compositions with some uh, boulders that are full of uh, moss because I saw a few uh, rocks with some uh, moss on it so I'm going to look for them and take some photos with them I hope you can see me well. Uh, I think I found two okay compositions. They're not the best because uh, it's getting really hard here in the dark to capture something okay. I put my Sigma 18 to 35 on the, onto the body to change it up a little bit. To not always be shooting with a Tokina 11 to 16 because it can be too wide of, uh, sometimes. I took a picture at, uh, in a portrait orientation because in the back I got a big tree that I want to, to capture into the frame but the sky is way brighter than uh, the rocks in front of us it's going to be a little bit difficult to edit this photo good enough that the sky doesn't look too, too bad And now uh, I put the, the camera in uh, landscape orientation and now I'm focusing only on the, on the rocks in this uh, riverbed to capture the flowing water in front of us and because it's so dark uh, I've bumped my uh, ISO to 640 and I'm shooting at a shutter speed of 25 now, uh, 25 seconds so that's uh, a very long shutter and uh, also for the water it's super silky it's like looking at clouds that are going to uh, some rocks. Really nice composition, I think. And uh, also, it's super cool because uh, on the left and the right side, we got some rocks with some uh, green moss on them. It's really popping with uh, the white silky water that we're getting from uh, the cascades here in the water. I've packed my gear uh, because uh, it's really getting too dark and I can't see anything anymore. Tomorrow uh, we're going to go back on to a shoot. Uh, that video will be next week for you guys. Uh, we're gonna also going to shoot some cascades. So thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Yeah, we got the water running through the composition. The background is very soft and the focus is really on this little flower because it's so bright and uh, even with the 7 stop and defilter it's not enough to really bring down the shutter speed.